My name is Aaron Krebs, and I'm in Appleton. I'm Jeff Johnson, band leader of the Swingin' Johnsons. He lives in Appleton, too. Well, um, this is my favorite story ever to tell, how we met. Um, <laughs> we met at a jazz orgy gig um, in 2006. Um, jazz orgy was playing at Paper City Pub, and I was singing with them, and um, they asked if Jeff could come up on this song. I was like, who's Jeff? And then Wood's like, oh, Jeff is awesome. So then Jeff came up and played, and I was like, woo, who's this guy? <laughs> just like that, right? Yeah, it was just like that. And then um, we started um, playing together. Like, I started singing with this blues band, the Swingin' Johnsons. And um, the duo started, I'd say, like, five years ago. We started doing the duo. Um, well, the Swingin' Johnsons is a band that's been around for a long time. I think Jeff can better talk yeah, about we that. Started, we started the, uh, a version of the band back in 94, I think it was. And uh, played with various, various drummers over the years. And different uh, horn players and things like that. So the, the new version of the band is probably the best, though. So. We have a couple different versions of the Swingin' Johnsons, um, like the bigger group um, where we have a keyboard player and stuff. Um, Brian Grizel plays keyboards, and um, then bass is Drew Hicks, who Jeff's been playing with for a long time, and drums um, kind of varies. Um, Mike Underwood sometimes, John Stelzer sometimes, James Lefebvre sometimes. And then um, myself singing, and then uh, sometimes we have a smaller version where um, we just have a bass player like Justin Zopel, um, a drummer like James Lefave and Jeff uh, on guitar, and then myself singing. So it's a quartet. Um, we do blues, um, R&B, funky kind of stuff. Um, yeah, Jeff is really loud. I'm always yelling at him to turn it down, you know. It's a blues band. Yeah, yeah it's a little more ruckus in the duo. Uh, a lot more stuff going on. But. Um, well, if you're used to the duo, like what this is, um, it's definitely going to be more bluesy, um, more upbeat, because um, we'll have the drums and bass as well. Um, Less jazz, more blues, R&B. Um, you'll hear some covers, maybe like Aretha Franklin, Susan Tedeschi, um, and then Jeff doing his... Yeah, a lot of blues standards, B.B. King and old school Willie Dixon, stuff like that, too. Um, how did I start music? Um, I started music when I was 10, I guess, playing flute and stuff. And then when I was in high school, I decided I want to be a band director. So I came to Oshkosh. That's where I met Marlo. Um, and uh, I was for band, being a band director. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, then I started singing with the jazz ensemble while I was there. And I decided that maybe I should be singing. And started singing with different jazz musicians around the area. And then in 2006, met Jeff. And... We kind of went into that. But, yeah, and I'm also a music teacher. Um, after this year, I'll be just trying to do music um, without teaching at the school, though. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, she's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so we've been, Aaron and I have been playing together for about for about five years now. I've known her for longer than that. And uh, I'm just really impressed with her versatility and her ability to sing all these different types of music. But uh, she's, I think she's best at, at jazz, but the blues thing is, is interesting, though, too. It's a little, little more upbeat, a little, little more energy to it. So, And she, she puts out a lot, of, a lot of good stuff in the blues band. So come on, see us. How to get started? Uh, I started playing ukulele when I was about 10. <laughs> when I lived in Hawaii for a couple years with my parents and uh, wanted to switch to electric guitar as soon as possible so I did that about a year or two later and came back here uh, in the late 60s and started playing uh, 
with uh, just a bunch of other guys, you know, just playing whatever stuff, you know, monkeys and old school uh, stones and stuff like that we used to play. Um, we pretty much self-taught. You know, we, uh, I, I took a few lessons back in the old days and taught myself the rest of the, the, rest of the time, yeah, so... So my favorite things to eat at Manila. Um, do we have enough time for this? I don't know if we have enough time. Um, the sushi, every sushi roll I've had has been great. Um, the appetizers are all amazing. I love that fresh spring roll with the peanut sauce that I have to get every time. And the lumpia, Jeff likes those. I love the adobo, um, pork adobo. All the robata stuff that we've had has been good. Um, and I love that squash dish, the, I don't know, jintan calabasa. I don't know how to say it, but it's good. Um, and the dessert, the banana thing is delicious. That's, yeah, that's really good. Yeah, if you haven't been here before for dinner, come out. It's, it's totally unique experience. There's nothing like it in the, in the whole area. So the sushi is really, really good. Uh, all the grilled stuff is fantastic. So come on out. I love everything you got. Throw your kisses, throw my soul if you 